Hey everyone, here with another summary for our Ghosts and Dishonored game, a Blades in the Dark system. So, the, a lot of you went up against the military again. Coming with an ingenious plan, the grinders have wanted to steal one of their ships for some time. The crew worked away, creating a distraction, causing an explosive on one of the ships. But while there, there seemed to be complications. Something was killing the crew. Uh, something had them spooked beyond the fact that terrorists were there to blow up the ship, and something almost caught them. Meanwhile, the other half of the crew prepared the ship for stealing. They found one that was being inspected by the Sparkrites and Dockers, and with some well-placed words got the Dockers out of there before attacking the Sparkrites. One of the sur supervisors ended up losing a finger as they seized the ship. Afterwards, a strange man was spotted inside the shop, attempting to remove some of the glyphs to keep ghosts and other such nasties out. When shot down and confronted, he spoke gibberish, talking about the end of the city and how everything was coming to an end. And before he could say much more, an imp spawned in his mouth and leapt out. The imp was quickly dispatched for it could harm the crew, but it was still disturbing. Upon escape, uh, the distraction ship exploded with the others escaping. And the one being stolen was set off with the grinders. The crew parted away, but the ship quickly disappeared under the water. The second heist involved moving a lair. It turns out that Mr. Lucas wrote an interesting article of where the Silk Shore Phantoms may or may not be living, as well as informing some mutual friends of their betrayal. With that in mind, the crew decided that they would clean out the secret lab the military had abandoned. Bringing up a powerful ritual, they summoned some kind of patron from the darkness. This demon wolf came and destroyed and scared off most of the failed experiments, leaving it empty and hidden from the outside world to a certain degree. Those not trained in the arcane would have a hard time finding this, and those that do will notice the similar markings that's under strong protection. With that, some things that happen in the city, darkness begins to spill through six towers at random when the bells toll. For a few minutes, darkness billows out and swallows up the district, only for a short period. Meanwhile, on Silk Shore, the, at the lightning barrier that protects the city flickers a blue star. And with that, that was our session, guys. Hope everyone had fun. Look forward to seeing you next Friday, and hope you're all having a great week. Bye for now.